Hello, what's up? Ali here for another PS3 exploit video and today we are going to show you the easiest way to play PS1 and PS2 games on our PS3. What I mean by the easiest is that we'll only need the minimum requirements to play this game and uh, that is just by having multiman. Well, uh, of course, you'll need to have a custom farmer on your PS3. So if you only have a hand, you can still follow this video, but uh, you can only play PS1 games. To play PS2 games uh, using hand, you will have to go through a process uh, where you'll have to log into a PSN account and uh, convert an ISO, sign the ISO, and use a specific application on your PS3, which I don't really uh, recommend because of all the troubles you'll have to go through just to play PS2 games. And uh, the compatibility is not that very high. But uh, don't get your hopes uh, out of the windows yet because, uh, you know, one of uh, the developers or hackers on our PS3 exploit scene just uh, made uh, or just gave a hint uh, around last month regarding a possible upcoming jailbreak or exploit on the PS3. And we may be looking at a complete jailbreak support on all PS3 models. But until that day comes, uh, you'll still need a custom former for your PS3 to play PS1 and, uh, and PS2 games. But we'll definitely make another video in case uh, that day finally comes. Another thing, uh, why is this video relevant? Because, uh, you know, we don't actually get much enhancement uh, when playing PS1 and PS2 games on the PS3. But uh, in regards with the compatibility, you know, we get the, mo the best compatibility of playing these games on the PS3. And personally, um, you know, having a PS3 with custom firmware is uh, my best choice uh, to play these games. Simply because, uh, well, for me, it just feels right playing my PlayStation games on my PlayStation uh, system. And also, you know, the size of a PS1 and PS2 games is just so small. And you can actually install a bunch of them on a small fraction of a space uh, of your PS3. And also, there's a lot of uh, classic PS1 and PS2 games that are, you know, simply timeless. And uh, playing them on the PS3 just, uh, you know... Um, you know, just really brings back those Moodle memories. So let's go ahead and uh, proceed to our video and uh, play some PS1 and PS2 games. Let us first prepare our games. And if we are going to use an external hard drive, make sure that uh, it is formatted to FAT32. And on the root of our hard drive, we have uh, to create a folder named PS2ISO for our PS2 games and PSX ISO for our PS1 games. So I have already prepared games for this. And uh, let's go ahead and transfer our Mortal Kombat inside the PS2 ISO. And for our PS1 ISO, I already have uh, prepared some games here. So for the PS1 games, uh, your PS3 can launch uh, your PS1 games directly from our hard drive. And for our PS2 games, uh, your PS3 will have uh, to transfer them uh, on the internal hard drive uh, before it can launch the games. Uh, but uh, you don't have uh, to worry about transferring the games because uh, all you have to do is place your PS2 ISO inside the folder PS2 ISO and just launch uh, this game in your uh, multiman and your ps3 will automatically transfer this in your internal hard drive later we'll show you how to transfer these games uh, using ftp for now let us go back to our ps3 and launch these games back to our ps3 since we need a custom farmer for this we don't need to launch or activate any exploit all we have to do is just open our ps3 and go to multiman but before we proceed, let me just provide some information regarding CFW or custom firmware. CFW is like the complete jailbreak for our PS3, but unfortunately, it is only compatible for a specific model of PS3. For the latest slim version and all the super slim models, uh, they are not compatible for CFW. We can only use hand for those PS3. And on the current status of our PS3 exploit, we won't be able to install CFW using web host. We still have uh, to wait for further developments on our PS3 exploit scene, but uh, we'll definitely make another video uh, to install a CFW in case uh, our PS3 exploit completely ports all of the tools for our CFW. So for now, let us go ahead and show you how to launch our PS1 and PS2 games using Multiman. So just launch our Multiman and go to the Retro section. 
and here we're going to see all of the games uh, installed on our ps2 iso and the psx iso for the ps1 game so we can launch uh, the games directly from our external hard drive so let us launch one of our ps1 games let's go ahead and launch this one and we can just go launch the game on the CD icon. But before we can do that, we may have to set up a memory card for our classic. So to do that, just go to the memory card utility. And from here, we can create memory card for our PS1 and PS2 games. Just choose this one. And from here, you can choose which memory card you want to create. Now let us go ahead and launch our game. And in the game, we can press the PS button to access some menu. And on the other settings, we can choose our screen mode, either normal or full screen. And we can also add smoothing. You know, it is actually easier and a lot better to play PS1 and PS2 games on the PS3 custom firmware compared to the PS2 itself and that is the reason why I uh, prefer playing uh, those games on my PS3. Just uh, press PS button and quit the game and back to Multiman. For our PS2 games, our PS3 will have to transfer the games first in the internal hard drive before it can launch the game but you don't have to worry about that. Just highlight the game and press X and the ps3 will uh, just transfer the game in its internal hard drive and you don't have uh, to do anything just uh, press yes here and it will start the transfer so let us yes uh, wait for the whole transfer to complete and it will automatically launch the game after the transfer it will automatically launch your game and like the PS1 games, you can also press the PS button to access some settings. And just a little bonus, you can actually use your PS1 games and play them on your PS3, even if you're just using a hand or CFW. Just insert your PS1 CD in your PS3. You don't need any launcher or you don't need any game manager it will automatically detect your PS1 games even if it's just a PS1 backup game. There. Now let us go ahead and uh, try to use FTP to transfer our games uh, from PC to PS3. Back on our PC, let us go ahead and open our FTP client. But on this video, we are going to use FileZilla. And here, we're going to enter the address of our PS3. So on the PS3, go to the network settings and settings and connection status list. And this is our IP address. Let's go ahead and enter our IP address here and use the port 21. And you will know that you have established a connection if you can access the folders of your PS3 from your PC. Now let us go ahead and check the directories of our PS3. And just like on the external hard drive, we are going to place our games on this specific folder. PS2 ISO for our PS2 games. And you can see here that this was uh, the game or this is the game that we have just transferred a while ago. And for the PS1 games, it is on PSX ISO. Now let us transfer two of our PS1 games in this folder. After the transfer, let's go back on our PS3. Now go back to Multiman and check our games. And since our hard drive or our external hard drive is still plugged into our PS3, we can still see all of our games here from our external and internal hard drive. You will know where it is saved on the icon just below the title of the game. So you will see here that there is an icon HDD. It means that this game is saved in the internal hard drive of our PS3. While this one, the icon is USB, this means that this one is installed in our external hard drive. But let us go ahead and load the game that was transferred in our internal hard drive. 
by the way if you don't see your game here just refresh the list and uh, your game should show on this icon so let us go ahead now and load our master rancher in our internal hard drive So this is it for our video and again this is Ali don't forget to like and subscribe and see you on the next video bye bye